And so, to preface this just a little bit, saints, I've never had any kind of visions before. This was the first one. Actually, it's been the only one. And I don't have prophetic dreams. Uh, however, in this instance, I was wide awake when it happened. And so the best way that I can describe it, it was like a dry run rapture, like a practice rapture, as it happened literally in the twinkling of an eye. However, it was the most profound experience that I've ever had in my entire life. In fact, it changed my life completely. I became on fire for God overnight as I had experienced the love of God in a very supernatural by design way. And so here's what happened. This was when I was back in college and late one night I got prompted by the Holy Spirit. Granted, I didn't know it was the Holy Spirit at that time, but was prompted to read my Bible. And this was at 1 30 in the morning. Now, mind you, before this night, I had read some verses here and there, made some highlights in my Bible, but nothing of ever great significance. And so anyways, I open up my Bible and I begin reading it. And then saints, all of a sudden, my body lifted into the air, like as if in the spirit. And I could immediately see the top of the roof of my house. And I began speeding away into space extremely fast. And then it was only when I got to the planet Saturn that I slowed down for just a millisecond, just enough so I could see it and then continued on until I hit a white light. And the moment I hit a white light, it was like my head peeped into the third heavens and God said, hello. And it was at that moment, saints, that I experienced the love of God. Now I knew that God loved people, but I didn't know that he was love until this moment. Like the definition of it, saints, he loves us more than we know, more than we can even comprehend. In a bed, and the only thing I could do in response was just shed tears of joy. Because in that moment, I knew that God was real beyond a shadow of a doubt. In fact, I even felt lighter, like spiritually lighter. I know it sounds weird, but it was a fourth dimensional experience. Here, let me take you to Ephesians chapter 3 real quick. And then we'll come back to how this relates to our overall pattern. And so pulling up Ephesians chapter three, for this cause, I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. What an incredibly profound part of scripture. As it was a four dimensional experience that I had that night, experiencing the love of Christ and having this Revelation, saints, passeth knowledge. Meaning, this supernatural by design experience surpasses all knowledge. All knowledge. No matter how many doctorates you have, degrees you have, all the life experience you could ever have, a supernatural experience with Christ's love blows that out of the water. And as Paul states, it's for all saints. Moreover, I'm no one special. And so this dry run practice rapture occurred on a very particular day, 1028 of 2006.